everyone. I have a friend that asked me if I could make a lava lamp, lamp, a lava lamp, um, or whatever it is called. Um, so I thought, well, let's give it a try. So uh, I put up a teaser on Instagram for it, and here it is. So I hope I can show you very easy and quick how to do it. It's not that complicated, but there is a lot of parts involved in this one. So let's get to the work table and create. So here we are at the work table. I am using some rest clay or uh, scrap clay here, and I'm trying to roll kind of a cone shape. Uh, and I'm not going to make it too small because this is going to be the bottom of the lamp. So I just want it to be around half a centimeter high and then have this cone shade, uh, shape upward. So I'm just working on it until I like the shape. When I am happy with the shape of this first cone, I am going to make one more that is around the same shape and size as the first one. So half a centimeter tall and it's kind of not totally the same width, but then again, it's almost the same width as the other one. Um, so that you get this kind of hour shaped shape here. I am going to use a tiny bit of bacon bond to glue these two pieces together so that they will stick and stay where they have to. We are now making the top cone for this lamp and uh, this is around 2, 2.3 centimeters tall. And the bottom part of the cone, that is the widest part, need to fit on the top part of the one we just made. So that then I am just shaping the bottom of this cone so that it fits onto the top of the stand that we just made. So it looks like this. I'm just going to roll it a tiny bit so I'm happy with the shape and the side size size of it uh, and i'm just measuring to make sure that everything is in the right place and um, i'm trying to measure the height of it so i have it in the right height it needs to be around 3.3 centimeters tall when it's all done and mine was a bit too big so i am rolling the cone a little more and cutting off the top of it here and then just reshaping it. And you can do this as often as you like to so that you can get the right shape of this top part of the um, lamp here. So I'm just gonna measure again to see how it looks and I'm happy about it. So I'm just making sure that it is kind of um, straight up and not falling to the sides. To the, to the side and then I am cutting off the tip of uh, the cone here um, making sure that it is kind of straight just carefully cutting off the tip here like that and now I have three different pieces here that I am going to bake like they are standing right here So all my parts are baked and cooled down, so I'm going to take the middle part here and I'm going to make a mold of that. So for this one I am going to make a little um, container around it so that I can make the mold putty or put the mold putty in there because this mold putty is uh, a liquid. So I'm making this kind of tube that fits around this little part that I want to make a mold of. And I'm using my hot glue gun to make this into the tube that I want. If my hot glue gun wants to work like I want it to. Then just make the tube. Don't make it too small and don't make it too big. Because then you need even more mold putty and you don't want that. So I'm just gluing this one together. Then I'm taking a tiny tiny dot of my hot glue and putting that on the part. And sticking that down to the paper. And then I am going to place this tube here 
around my thing and then just put a nice amount of glue around this tube on the outside so I have this little container for my mold. I normally use my platinum silicone rubber for this one but I got this um, mold putty here on um, Sophie and Toffee. Uh, I don't know the name of this but this should go um, be kind of uh, translucent just like my normal as it's done and this is one part to one part and I'm going to use like 4.47 here of the first one and I'm trying to reach the same amount of this one it's never a hundred percent equal but it's very very close then when I have the right amount of both of these I am going to mix it really really good I slowly pour this over my little part so I can make a mold of it and I'm making sure that the top part of it is fully covered. covered. This exact um, mold putty here needs to dry up or harden up for around 24 hours where the old one had a around of a half hour curing time so this one is taking a bit longer but um, I think this one is working pretty good as well. Let it harden completely before you demold it and I'm just gonna do that right here. Um, and I just want to say that I am not affiliated or anything with Sophie and Tuffy but if they want to do something together with me I am ready because I love their products. Anyway, I demolded this one, taking out the original and I have a tiny bit of mold putty around the opening here. So I'm just gonna get rid of that so that I have a nice opening when I need it. And then I just pop out the original of my mold. Well, there we go. This is going to be one of those glitter lamps, so I am taking some UV resin and I am mixing that together with a little tiny bit of glitter. You can put as much glitter in there as you like to and different colors if you want. That's all up to you. Mix it well and pop it into the little mold and pop the mold into your UV light. Um, because of the milky look of the mold, I am always giving these around four uh, minutes in one way around and then I'm turning the mold over and give it four more minutes on the other side up and then I can pop it out of the mold. So this part can be a bit hard to see, but I wanted to make a real lava lamp. So I used some shiny blue or shimmery blue clay and I'm just making this little flat bottom part here where I'm placing some uh, small drops on top and I shaped some small drops. They are lying here on the side um, that I can put in there as well. So I'm just putting them randomly on there like this and I'm gonna bake this and make a real lava lamp for that. And back to the lamp itself I'm going to use my Dremel on a slow speed with a tiny drill and I'm making a tiny tiny hole here at the bottom of the foot, foot of the lamp for the wire. I have this little stick ice popsicle uh, with some double-sided tape on there and I am placing the two parts the top part and the bottom part of the lamp here and I'm just going to make these golden and this gold paint is taking like forever to be um, all um, opaque so I think I gave it around five layers of gold but um, yeah you can paint these in whatever color you want your lamp to be just um, make sure that it is covering the clay here. 
I made a few of these glitter parts for the lava lamps and I am giving them a tiny bit of glaze with this Vallejo varnish. So here I have all the parts that I need for the first lava lamp, lava lamp. Um, and I'm using a tiny bit of a real wire here. And this is around nine centimeter long, what is around a meter in the miniature worse. Uh, universe. I am gluing one end of this into the little plug that I made. I'm sorry, this is my private little uh, 3D print. 3D print. But I'm sure you can make one from a little of a polymer clay. I am gluing the other end of the wire into the lamp. Then I am gluing this glittery part onto the lamp again. Here so that it is standing correct, making sure that it grips. That's really good. And of course, I am gluing the top part on there as well. Here we go. And there you have your first little lava lamp all done. It actually turned out really, really cute. For the lamp with the lava, I am taking one of the small blobs here and I am gluing the little blob here together with the uh, flat part that we made with my UV resin and my torchlight. Then I am popping a tiny bit of UV resin into our mold, making sure it's in the bottom of the mold, taking a droplet, popping it in there, making sure that these small blue parts are lying exactly as I want it to putting a tiny bit of uh, UV resin on, on top of that and then making sure everything is uh, kind of hardened a tiny bit to uh, lie as I want it. This is going to be on the bottom part so I need enough resin in there before I can put this part in. So I'm just making a tiny bit more of a layer and hardened that one. And then I am just filling the mold almost to the top of it so that it doesn't uh, go too much over when I pop this bigger piece in there. I had a little air bubble there, getting rid of that. Placing another tiny droplet to the side here, taking this bigger piece and popping it in so that the bottom of it has this flat blue uh, color with some bubbles on there. And then I'm just using my torch light to make sure that it is staying where I want it to before I pop it into my UV light. Um, so I'm actually building up the inside of this little piece here step by step. Um, but you can do this as you want to. This is just one way to do it. I am of course putting it into my UV lamp just like before. And then I am collecting and putting together the lava lamp as I showed you with the other one. And that's all there is for this version as well. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.